I've made a copy of ODB 76 and I'm calling this one ODB 77 invoice part 4B, the invoice. Coming down to reports, going to right click on report invoice, copy and paste. We'll call this report invoice part two. I'm going to right click on that and edit. I'm going to make my header area a little larger and click on the label. I want to add a label for the invoice ID. Control C, Control V. I'm making another one for the invoice date. I'm going to turn on the properties and change this label to say invoice date and write justify it. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to click on my selection tool and the other label. I want this to say invoice number and I'll write justify this one. Selecting both the invoice date and the invoice ID, I want to make these bold. And I'm going to click my right arrow one time just so they have a little space between the label and the value. Let's save this and run it to see how it looks. We see our invoice number. We, the first one is zero. The invoice date looks good. The client information doesn't look well lined up, especially the city, state, and zip code. Looking in our example, we've got the city, state, and zip code close together. In this report, they're spread apart. To fix this, I'm going to close the report and click on the state. I want to lower this down a little. Postal code, bring that down. I'm going to click on state or province while holding shift to select them both and I want their width to be two. Let's realign these as well while we're here. The company name, address, and city. I'm holding down shift and clicking on all of them. I want those widths to be two. But I also want my position X to be about 0.25. Now to make the city, state, and zip code line up better, I'm clicking off and only selecting the city. Coming up to the data tab and then clicking our dot 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 box. I'm going to change city to be left bracket, city, right bracket, ampersand, double quote, comma, space, double quote, ampersand, left square brace, state or province. And I'm getting that from our state or province right here. Then we've got our right square brace, ampersand, double quote, space, double quote, ampersand, left square brace, postal code, right square brace. Clicking OK. Let's run this, see how it looks. That looks a little nicer. We can delete off these now. From here on out, I had lots of problems on my home computer working with this report with LibreOffice crashing. So we want to save it often. Not just the report, but you need to save the database. If you save the report and the database crashes, nothing is saved. With my work computer, which is a quad core with eight gigs of RAM, I didn't have any of these problems. But with my home computer, I did. And I'm guessing not all of you have quad core computers with eight gigs of RAM. So if you don't, you may see problems with LibreOffice crashing, especially when you are trying to stretch text boxes by pulling on the handles. So 
from here on out, I'm going to use the properties box to resize my text boxes and labels. Let's go down to the detail area. I'm going to select on my description. I want my position X to be 0 0.2, 0 0.02 actually. Position Y to be 0 0.04. Let's scroll over and see that. Looks good. I want a height of 0.2 and a width of point of 3.7. Selecting the amount owed. I want my position X to be 3.77. Position Y to be 0 0.04, height 0 0.2, but the width I want to be 1.2. The last one we have is our notes. I want my position X to be 5.02, position Y to be 0 0.04, width will be 2, and the height 0.2. Now, looking at our example, these are all boxed in. So to box something in, I'm going to insert a shape, which will be a rectangle. I want the rectangle to be a color of white. I want my width to be 3.75 my height to be 0.25. Control C, Control V. I want my position X to be 3.75. And I want to change my height and width. Well, my height's good, just the width to be 1.25. Now I can make a copy of that. I need to click it again first. Click, Control C, Control V. We want our position X to be 5 and the width to be 2. I'm going to click on my selection tool and select, hold down Shift to select all three of my boxes, right click, copy, and I want these to go into my header. So I'm clicking into the header, right click, paste, and I want to move them all down to the bottom. I also want to paste in our section footer. We don't have a section footer, just a page footer, so I need to add that in, view. Sorting and grouping. I think this is ours. The group header present, group footer present. Clicking in the footer. I want to right click and paste again. Let's move these to the top. And we don't need all three. I don't need this third one. To click and change the fill color to be gray one. Same for this one, gray one. And for these three, gray one. Let's bring up our detail area a little bit. I'm going to save this and save my database. Just in case it crashes, I want to be able to come back to at least this part.